and family. Howdy, partners. We're coming at you from Greg's truck because we want to review this restaurant that we just went to. This is our first review video, so bear with us. We're in, we're a learning progress. <laughs> okay, okay, so what we just went to Lemongrass here in the Wellington Mall. It's actually Lemongrass Asian Bistro. Whatever. And it's Friday night. It's Keep Friday that in night. mind. Um, it was very uh, crowded, which was nice. Um, the only beef I had with it, besides the beef we had with our food, <laughs> is that you sit <laughs> is that you sit so close to your neighbor. Neighbors. You know, I could reach over and if I wanted to take a bite of the lady's food next to me, it would have been no problem. I tried. Tess did try. She wanted to eat that curry. Just Chef Curry with the pot. Like Stephen Curry? So anyway, what did we start with, Tess? We started with some calamari, and when we first got it, I asked for sauce, like, because I thought, you know, you get fried cal calamari, and you get red sauce. Yeah, you it. typically dip it, right? But, this one didn't have any sauce on it, in it, or like next to it, like on a side cup or whatever. So, I asked for the sauce, she's like, no, 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 this is how you eat it. So, and I thought the calamari was outstanding. It was really good. It was really good. The uh, it didn't need any sauce. It didn't need the sauce. It did come with like these little like scallion type things, maybe, and some uh, or cebolla larga. If you're and, Hispanic, and some jalapenos and salt and pepper. I believe was. Uh, on it too. And it was seasoned with something because it was delicious. It had like this really good flavor. And they were big pieces of calamari and they weren't the pieces of calamari with like the legs on them. It was just the circles. So that was good. And they were fried. So they're like breaded. Anywho. <clears throat> um, and then we ordered our main course and the main course there's a lot of options. Tons of options. There's I mean, like... If, you d if you've ever been to an Asian restaurant and tried to read the menu, I mean, good luck. You have no idea what you're ordering Greg or what has, you want. I, Greg has no idea what he's ordering or what he wants. No idea. But we did figure it out. We uh, we pulled through. And, uh, well, Tess had a lot of assistance from the waitress. I think <laughs> her other tables were probably getting mad at her. Yeah, because Tess, I was holding up the waitress asking her a million bajillion mi questions. If she asked her one question, she asked her a million questions. Or just like five questions. Anyways, I had the um, I had the ramen. The ramen noodles. I, there's two options. There's the miso ramen, and then there's this other crazy word, ramen. I had the crazy word ramen. Uh, with the pork broth, they. Uh, what kind of meat did you have in it? A uh, sh braised short rib. Braised short rib. And it was really, it was, it was good. It was in uh, Hawaii. To, it was in Hawaii good. Right? It wasn't Hawaii good. Because we had some nothing really good. Is anything really Hawaii good? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Are you dumb? But anyway. Um, if I were to go back, I would order it again, but I would order it a little bit more spicy. They have an option that you can make it a little spicy. I got it just regs. Everything's reg always better spicy. I got it just regs the first time. I would throw a little bit, you know, I would throw a little bit of that funk in there next time. But it was good. I ate it all. Um, as you can see, my belly is full. And Tess, what did you get? Take it away, my dear. So I wanted like lo mein, and they didn't have lo mein's. Hey, hang on. We might be here ten minutes <laughs> while she explains to you what you got, what she got. Just bear with us. Like we said, it's our first video. Um. Go ahead. So I wanted lo mein. They didn't have lo mein. <laughs> they have like noodles in a wok. Like they cook them in a wok, and there's like different flavors. Um, like there's pad thai and there's 
like six other flavors, but I didn't really know any of them. So I just picked um, the brown sauce and I asked for lo mein noodles and they said it was an upcharge of $3. So that's what I ended up getting with veggies and beef. And I think one day I'm gonna become a vegetarian. So I liked the vegetables way more than I liked the beef or the steak or whatever was in there. Um, besides that, it was pretty good. I liked on my plate. So do you think we should talk like price and stuff so people are aware of like what they're looking to spend or? Yeah, so my plate, we ended up paying for our whole meal. For tip included. Tip included. We do tip 20%. And also we ordered a to-go plate for Greg's mom. Oh yeah, she got pad thai to go. Which it, came out really quick actually. It, yeah, it came out really quick. And it smells delicious. And so, we paid $72, I think. So for like three people, on three people's entree and one appetizer, it was like 72 bucks? Uh, I think it was 74. Okay. But yeah, same thing, 72, 74. So besides that, I would say what, that's like medium priced? Yeah, it was, it was not bad for a restaurant, a new restaurant in Wellington, you know? It was, uh, you know, comparable to other places. Um, and the decoration inside was very modern, very warehouse-ish. Yep, it was very nice. I would definitely go again and I would recommend it. Yes. I would recommend it. I'm definitely going to go back. I'm going to try the fried rice because it, because it looks really good. I'm sure I shouldn't be eating fried rice because you can see my double chin. But whatever. I have a beard to hide my double chin. But whatever. Or I just put my hand here. All right. Anywho. Well, hey, we hope to see you guys a lot more often uh, in the near future. We're coming at uh, you from Craig's. Like, truck. subscribe, uh, whatever it is you do, <laughs> hit the button, and uh, you know. Hopefully next time you see us, we have a few more followers. See ya.